Okay, so grace is our topic this week on Tack Room Devotional. I'm Keith Brown. Grace is the favor of God. It's the undeserved, unmerited favor of God. It's something that you cannot earn. You cannot try and impress God with anything. His grace is on you if you're a born-again child of God, like it or not. Now, I don't know why you wouldn't like it, but his favor is upon his children. Amen. Okay, look with me at Psalm chapter 5. In verse 12, for you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him as with a shield. Now, when you read this scripture, you may say, well, this isn't for me because I'm not righteous. And yet I can show you in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 that it says that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Now you go, wait a minute, Keith. Uh, I know me. I'm not righteous. Well, see, it's not your righteousness. It's the righteousness of Jesus that's on you. When you look at Ephesians chapter 6, it talks about the full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God. And part of that full armor is the breastplate of righteousness. Now, when you study scripture, it says that God looks upon the hearts of men. So when God looks at your heart, he looks through the breastplate of righteousness. But whose righteousness is it? Is it? Well, it's his because it's the full armor of God that you're putting on. So he looks through the righteousness of Jesus Christ into your heart, and he sees that you've been made righteous. You see how that works? And so now we can read and we can say, For you, O Lord, will bless me, the righteous one, because he's made me righteous. Not See, that's the favor of God. He has made that available. Now it's up to you by faith to receive it. He makes it available. Now take it by faith. And it says, with favor, you will surround him as with a shield. Thank you, Lord, for my protection because of what Christ did for me at Calvary. Amen. Go with me to Proverbs. Um, chapter 12 and verse 2. A good man obtains favor from the Lord, but a man of wicked intentions he will condemn. Once again, are you a good man? You can look at yourself and go, well, no, not really. I mean, I've done some crazy things. But if you're a born-again child of God, receive grace, the favor of God. I've been saved by grace through faith, right? I've been saved by his favor, his undeserved, unmerited favor. And how do I receive that? By faith. I reach and take it. Same thing here. He made you a good man. It, you're not a good man in and of yourself, but because of what Christ did at Calvary, he has made you a good man. So that's the grace of God that's on you because he did it for you. He makes it available. Now it's up to you to reach by faith and say, I'll take that. I am a good man, and therefore I, I obtain favor from God. Hallelujah. Okay, go with me to Luke chapter 1. This is the story of Mary and Martha, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, Joseph and Mary. <laughs> and when Jesus, uh, this is the Christmas story about Jesus' birth. Notice what it says in verse um, 28. No, 26. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name is Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. So we know who this is, right? Now look what happens. Verse 28. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. How cool is that? A virgin. Can you imagine here uh, God in heaven is looking down and he says, Hey Gabe, come here, I wanna, want you to do something. See that little lady down there, that, that peasant woman? Go tell her that she's going to give birth to the Son of God. Wow, highly favored. But guess what? You're highly favored too. Why? Because you have a person living on the inside of you too. You are pregnant with the presence of God, with the very Spirit of God. Now remember, the Holy Spirit is not an it. The Holy Spirit is a person. It's the person of the third, the third person of the Trinity. Lives on the inside of you. That's the very definition of pregnancy. You are pregnant with the presence of God. And that presence wants to be birthed so that the rest of the world can see the presence of God 
in you. Amen. Um, Christ in me, the hope of glory. They have to see it. Look with me finally in Luke chapter 2. In verse uh, 51. Now, this is where um, they went to Jerusalem for the census and then they left and they realized that Jesus wasn't with them so they had to go back and get him. Well, he was in the temple preaching and um, so finally his mom finds out where he's at and look at verse 50. But they did not understand the statements which he spoke to them. Then he went down with them. This is Jesus went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. But his mother kept all these things in her heart. He was 12 years old. Verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. In other words, he was growing up physically. And in favor with God and men. Not just in favor with God, but also in favor with God and men. This is how the favor of God works on you and I when we realize this. When we start operating, again, by, by faith, receive the grace that's on us, people will see the favor of God on you and I and they will respond to it. That's the way it works. Hey guys, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.